honestly believe with what he's doing, the work that he's doing, he's charismatic, he makes us laugh, it's not, he's genuine. I feel like there's something in the cosmos and in our callings that there's just, just the time is now kind of thing. He's actually able to just help me heal. Hi Libra, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. How are you? This is your last of the weeklies. This is, uh, I think 22, right? Yeah, 22 to the end of the month. So 31st or 30, 31st, I think, right? So let's see what's going on with the Libras. Okay. Again, um, this channel promotes a healthy way of watching. Um, tarot reading, which means we only focus on the zodiac that we're trying to read. Um, so this is mainly focus on the Libra, the good, the bad, whatever that they're doing, so they can have, um, how to say this, uh, they can go within, you know. And we don't do cross-watching here, so you can cross-watch in other channel, but not this one, okay? Because you have your own zodiac, so watch your own zodiac, okay? So that's that. Let's see what's going on for you guys here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Knight of Pentacles. So this is. Um, I feel like you're carrying some burden, and it's something you can't well let go right now. And this is not about oh Knight of Pentacles. It's slow calculating now. This Knight of Pentacles shows I care about. You know, first, let's just look at the situation, Libra. I care about the situation. I appreciate the person. This um, connection matters to me. But, you know, it is dragging. It's, uh, you know, it slows you down. You know, when you're trying to progress in life, this is your weight, you know, that you carry. Um, we have this movie <laughs> in my country, native land. Um, it's called um, Pasan Ko Ang Daigdig. Oh, it means I'm carrying the weight of the world. This is, this is, it's, it's interesting because there's another one where you carry the cross or burden of others. This is not that one. I know that this one is just you carrying the weight of the person and let's just say you want to move things up in your life. When you consider them, oh dear Lord, I'm going to be stuck here. Hence, Knight of Pentacles does not move. So the situation, it's not stagnant. It's just like they are in a way a burden but not a hardship. It's just like they don't pick up the, you know, like, you know, when they say it's like, pick up your own weight, you know. So this person is, doesn't do that. And it's you, okay, looking at that pentacle, um, being responsible for it. And the hands, the horse is not moving. We have a leaf blower. 
Queen of Cups. Now, you could have consulted a reader, a psychic, an intuitive person, or if they, this can be you at the same time. Um, but I feel like more you consulted, because remember, readings here, we don't switch, you know, to fit your situation. It, either it hits you. So this is you then. I'm looking at tarot readings. This is a psychic. Uh -huh. You're trying to get an insight on how, you know, to make, can be, to make your decision, to move forward. So this is heavily um, esoteric. Like, I need to know answer, you know, the answer to this connection, but through the occult. So divination process. You're going to look at astrology. You're going to look at your chart, their chart. You know, you probably cross watch also. Um, and, or, you know, it's like they could probably cross watch. But I feel like it's you more um, really trying to get the answers through multiple, you know, tarot channels in YouTube. And you're just watching and watching and watching. Sorry. I thought it's my phone call. So that's that. And you're getting also a little bit um, upset already that all this channel, probably including mine, is not giving you the clear direction. You're, um, there's a level of frustrate, uh, frustration with regards to getting readings. Um, for you, all this reading, including mine, you know, including my channel, it's just like, it doesn't give me the right answer right now. And I need to find out. Temperance, we have seen this in the past two months, three months ago, which is about requiring you to, you know, be patient. Libras are not about patience. It's really about, um, you know, the scale, the merchant. You can stick with it as long as it's, uh, there is reciprocity, as long as they carry their own weight. It's not a problem to be in a relationship. Um, for you, if they are not a drag. Let's focus on your career. You want to excel. You want to move forward. They are not in that page. And when you talk to them, they don't have that energy or spirit inside them that, you know, that pushes you also. You know, that inspires you. They're more of like an expire, not inspire. So they can be a Debbie Downer. And... For you with the temperance, listening to the conversation, listening to what you guys have been talking for the past months, it does not help your spirituality also. If you are focused on your religion and, you know, doing your sadhanas, doing all this um, healing process, they're not there. Your focus on your spiritual growth, they're not there. Again, such a drag. With the moon and the temperance, it looks like you're really trying to <laughs> to connect with <laughs> multiple divination process because the moon is psychic also. Your intuition. You have here the queen of us. Uh, so you have queen of cups and you have now here, this is a king of cups. Yeah, This is a king of cups. Now, the person is loving. The person is caring. Mm -hmm. The person, you know, this is a Scorpio. You have Cancer, you have Taurus, you have Sag. The person loves you. Okay. Now, this is why we don't cross-watch in this channel. Because I will tell you, you know, with no bashing of, ooh, the other person. Okay? You, we, don't, we don't do that here. I mean, moving forward, right? We've heard of that enough. You know, that's why I want us to evolve with um, doing readings. So this person is loving. This person could probably give you the most, you know, the, a lot of messages about, I care about you. I love you. You know? With the King of Cups. So it's good. You know, they're coming off from a place of love. Um, I'm not sure why, you know, in other parts of their chart, they are not matching with you. So love and being a pair to this person is fine. That is not a question. So you found someone who really, genuinely loves you. Judgment. Now, it's coming on the same spot here, which is when I did the Scorpio Tarot After Dark. Okay, hold on. Okay, if you want to go to that reading, 
I'm not sure if there's a nakshatra that crosses from Libra to Scorpio. I can't remember, but I think there is. So you might be crossing over in that nakshatra. So you have some Scorpio nakshatra wise. So that might be helpful for you. Okay. Judgment here is what do we do here? How do we improve this connection? You feel the pressure. You want things to move forward. And it's not about I want to separate with you. I want this connection to succeed. You want this. Mm -hmm. That can be, that's not a reconciliation. No. So you're looking at different avenues to make this work. Knight of Swords. So you're going to be telling this person that if only they can move, then that's good. If only they can say yes to the ideas that you have, then that's going to be good so that we can move things forward. Okay. But this is the problem with them. Today, they're this. Tomorrow, they're that. Because they have also a lot of things in their plate. So putting a pressure right now on this person really does not go anywhere because they can't think correctly because of life at the same time. They have this hectic schedule at work. They don't know what to do with their pentacles. They have, um, you know, uh, they're trying to keep themselves afloat with the coins. So meaning they could probably lose their job if they don't, you know, focus on it. And this person is already um, rattled. That's a two of pentacles. So now they find themselves in a crossroad, you see there. What do I do? The Libra is already asking me things and stuff to move forward. Now, you're here with the Four of Cups. Uh -huh. You're waiting patiently. Mm -hmm. So you're managing the temperance, but you're getting bored. Now, look at this. This can be also like in a, you know, what we're doing right now with isolation. You see that? You're looking at the window and, you know, it's like, when is this going to be over? When? You know. But not in an impatient way because you got a temperance, so that's good. You're coming in very, very stable for this read. Six of Swords. When will they make up their mind and discuss everything that they have been thinking and feeling? Ah, six of Swords. So there is a level of um, not about no contact. It's when are they going to open up? Hmm. Six of Swords. Seven of Wands. Because you know that if you force yourself, if, if you do, what you're going to get is just a dismissal, an argument, uh, you know, because that's a Seven of Wands. They will come at you also. So there's no, you know, like you're now in the, you know, there's winning. There's no winning in this situation. You're patient, but how long? Ace of Wands with a judgment. So you're pushing through with or without this person. Judgment with Ace of Wands. I'm going to get to my creativity, my passion, my life. I'm going to get back on that horse and pursue what makes me happy. Because Ace of Wands for me is your fifth house energy. So it's always about doing what makes you happy with or without this person. So that's where you're going to go. You're not yet ending it though. Okay, so Libra, I'll continue this reading. Link down there in the description box for the extended. And, you know, we're going to look more of the situation, all the if, what, not, maybes that you probably are thinking of. And what else? Um, I think that's it. Make sure you sign up for the webinar, your Atma Karka, um, your soul desire. So link is down there. Bye, guys.